Hi there. <laughs> uh, just getting my camera fixed. Well, we've had a couple of sunny weeks in Oregon. Very unusually sunny, very pleasant, nice weather. And today, uh, I'll point the camera out the window in a second and show you this is what it's looking like in Oregon today. Kind of rainy and cold and gloomy, and we're getting prepared to head south. But I thought since uh, it was kind of gloomy today that I would just sit on the couch here in my motorhome and tell you a story. And I decided to tell you the story about me and the Mexican Pistoleros in Topeak, Mexico. <coughs> Unknown caller. And what timing? Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Does anybody remember when cell phones didn't get sales calls? This is the Marriott. You've been selected to... Uh, where were we? We were talking about uh, when we went back and forth between Portland, Oregon and Guadalajara and Ajijic, Mexico, uh, three years in a row in our old south wind back and forth. Back when people used to ask me, well, how long does it take to drive from Portland, Oregon to Guadalajara? And I would say, oh, about a month and a half. <laughs> I made up this rule at that time that I didn't want to go more than 100 miles a day. And at first I made up the rule because I started out, I had a, 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 an ATM card that I could get cash with in Mexico. But it was an ATM card from a federal credit union, and there was a $300 a day limit on it. And $300 a day with uh, the toll roads in Mexico and the price of gas at that time, uh, I couldn't travel every day because $300 wasn't enough. Uh, actually, it would have been, except that when that ATM system started with my federal credit union, uh, the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, were one day. So uh, I couldn't make it through two or three days. Anyway, 100 miles a, 100 miles a day, that was my limit. And I still like that, uh, traveling 100 miles a day. On our way north one year, we stopped in Topeak, and Topeak, Mexico is a, a fairly large city, and it's between Guadalajara and Mazatlan if you're going to come up or go down the west coast of mainland Mexico. I think it's uh, Autopista Highway number 15, the toll road. Anyway, we stopped in Topeak, and with the uh, book that we used to travel in in Mexico with our RV was called Churches RVing Mexico. And it might still be around if you're going to RV Mexico, you might look for it. Church was the name of the couple uh, that wrote the book, and they had traveled Mexico extensively in their RV. So it was a really great resource at that time. I don't know if it's still around. Um, anyway, we went to Topeak and greater resource, as I just said it was, the RV park that it directed us to was closed. So we went to the nearest Walmart, and walking into the Walmart, we were approached by a guy at the taxi stand. Turned out later that he owned the taxi business, not just that taxi, but all of them. And uh, he spoke to us in uh, very good English and offered to go into the um, Walmart and talk to the manager and see if it was okay for us to stay in the parking lot overnight, which it turned out it was. And we spent a lot of time talking to this guy. His name was Julio. And Julio became a very good friend. Uh, that evening, he invited us to come to his house, and we, we kind of like uh, talked it over, Lynn and I, and said, well, you know, you kind of got to put yourself out there and, and, and take a chance with a stranger uh, or you're just going to not, you're, you're going to miss out on, you know, life's experiences. So we went over there and it was kind of sketchy. He had this beat up old pickup. And um, 
when we got to his house, things began to change. It was a very nice house with a very new expensive car in the garage. And he took us to dinner. And it was the first time I ever had carne and suugo. Carne and suugo is one of my favorite Mexican dishes. The literal translation of carne and suugo is meat in its juices. And it's beef with uh, beans in uh, uh, beef broth. And then they give you... Um, uh, uh, roasted onions and uh, chopped onions and uh, spices to put in it, cilantro. It's really, really good. Anyway, if you ever get a chance to try carne and suugo, go for it. So Julio became a friend. And we would stop going both directions, coming and going those three years, uh, and stop and see Julio and got to know his family. And Julio grew up in a little town outside of Topeka, Mexico. Uh, and he had four brothers. Well, three brothers and Julio. There were four of them. And he, he, Julio explained that they had all been the mayor of this little town and they ran out of brothers. In Mexico, you can't hold a political office more than six years. So over the course of four six-year terms, that would be, that might be fly number 19. It doesn't count unless I hit him with the fly swatter, though, but he's bugging me. Anyway, uh, they had run out of brothers, so none of the brothers were the mayor of the town when I was taken out there, but, um, one of the brothers owned a little Aberotes, a, a convenience store, a little small grocery store, and sitting out in front of the grocery store on the sidewalk on cut tree stumps were uh, a couple more brothers, and we all decided that we'd have a picture taken together. So that's the picture that you saw in the thumbnail for this video. And just before we are uh, getting the picture taken, one of the brothers says, hang on a second, and he goes back into the grocery store, and he comes out with this pistol that you see in the picture, and he makes this little speech. He says, we are all pistoleros, we four brothers, but we are so poor that we only have one pistol. So, as the honored guest of our little Pueblo today, you should hold the pistol for the picture. So that picture is me and the pistol arrows. There is fly number 19 right there. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.